and we're going to do the yeah. handicap so ramp. We've spoken to James. And, yeah. No, that was after that. That was we never utilized that money, and he kept it for whatever we wanted to use it for. So I assume that 125, 135 is that money. Well, that's that's not that additional, okay, that's additional just for the park. Yeah, may have it. So um, maybe we can get an extra for the fixing the water. Check with him because he did text me and tell me that's where that money well, came from. I'm, if it I'm didn't, hoping, then you can maybe get your hands on it. When hmm? was it? When they texted? Two months ago. Reason. And he said that 125,000 was part of the ramp allocation. Part of or? Well, well the 125 or 135 yeah. found that I so think it was 125. Part of was that more money? No, but that 125 was for the ramps that we declined at the end of the day. The board decided not to go in that direction. So it's my understanding that money sat in an account for, for the village. And if you're saying that wasn't that money, then maybe that money is still around to be exercised. Well, the, 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 the one... That would be an extra 125. Yeah, and, and I remember that, that whole dialogue. Right? What I find very disturbing is that the village allowed a, a bridge that was not conforming to the ADA, uh, federal ADA law, to happen. Okay, ADA, and I remember the engineer, um, uh, Jim Farr, saying that the ADA came out when the bridge was being installed. The um, bridge was installed, I believe, in 2005 or 2006. Mm -hmm. The ADA came out in 1993. So it's quite a difference, okay? And right now, I think the village is faced with the choice do we remove the bridge because it's in violation of the federal law, okay? Well, That's I would do the, your homework first because when that money was obtained, that was a grant as well. So well, you'd have to go like, back if you could yeah, find no, the records I, I, to, I to figure that out. But it seemed um, like maybe... But you had the opportunity in the 125000 to put the ramps in. So, I don't think going retro and, and making an issue because it's a federal mandate now that no, it's always that's it's the federal well, mandate. again we had the money and you chose not to do it. The majority no, of the board I, chose I, not I, to do it. I agree with because you because but the time is up, and you have but we a situation had where maybe the the bridge didn't have to cost the amount of cost, and I don't have that number in front of me, but I do remember. Seen. I think it was about 250 and it was a grant completely paid for. So maybe the bridge should have been 125 and then put the ramps in. Take the 125 and put the ramps in. That's what no, the no, bridge no. costs. From, from the cost of the original bridge. The cost of the original bridge was 250. It's, 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 or close to that. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Whatever, maybe, whatever the grant could yeah. support is what the bridge was. Right. State. Yeah, and I don't remember which person gave it to us. It was either Senator Larkin, perhaps, and or Nancy Calhoun at the time. Be my guess. Okay. You don't have the record? Me? No, I don't. Not for 2005. I lost a lot of stuff in my house during 2011. That grant was supported the purchase of that. I would, I would to say, I see yeah. Yeah. But the bottom line is, you got the, the 125 was there. So if it's an issue to put it in, pursue that and put the steps in. The whole issue was the majority of the board at the time was a little concerned about the parking spaces over putting in the ramps. So it, you know, chicken or the egg, something's got to give. But I don't think taking out that bridge is going to be the right thing to do because it is a pedestrian walkway. Tons of people use that on the weekends from going from the village parking lot over to Matesfield. A lot of the families use it for softball. A lot of families use it for hardball. Um, and the village lot, unfortunately or fortunately, becomes an overflow. 
but then those people do down and utilize our downtown businesses. As you know, Ahmad and everybody else runs goes that way with food, and, and so I think it'd be a bad thing to take that out. Really, really a bad time. Forcing then all those people now to walk 208, which is probably the worst spot to be. Yeah, that, uh, I'm glad you put up the bridge. That goes over to Mays Field. Mays Field belongs to Right. So you, as a representative, uh, sits on the town council, mm -hmm. a ward member uh, that that bridge is in. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we could, you could work something out where the town is going to pay for a half the ramp, and the village would pay for the other half. Why would we be paying? You know, we had a grant. It, it doesn't. If we had to take we money out of our own budget, grant. that's one thing. We had the grant, and the grant was going to pay for both sides regardless. The town agreed to put that bridge in back in 2005, 2006, whatever it was. But if they had that grant for the ramp, why weren't the ramp put in then? Because the board felt no, no, that they didn't. No, back in 2005. No, there was, there was no plan to put ramps in in 2005. But they had to put ramps in. The ADA, the, ADA, the ADA started before that. They I don't had know. To put, why was it never built without it? I don't know. Because we've gotten the, the amount of money and it put in the bridge. And we don't, I mean, I don't remember coming to the meetings, I don't remember this $125,000 that was earmarked for rents. I mean, just. I, 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 just I can get you the emails. But, but. Wasn't it I just asked if you have records. He said no. I do. I have an email. I have the email or a text when he told me that that money was allocated for the bridge. And that money okay. didn't go to the bridge, ago. and now you guys are using it for it's another project. Uh, no, that's different different money. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not, Val. It's not. Okay, this was my memory of it, Tom. Um, but the 125000 dollars grant, correct me if I'm wrong, is when the bridge over the moon was shut down for the summer. That's when we wanted to put the ramps in, correct? Exactly. That's right. when that grant came And that's in. that 125. And when the that's board, when that grant came in. Correct. And, and when then, the board said no. And what year was that? Two years ago? Three? Uh, yes. Maybe two. Okay, so then like last year, James came up with $125,000 for Vern Allen Park. We believed it to be two separate incidents. Yes. One was for when the bridge was out, that was done because the ramps didn't get approved. Okay. I'm and just then telling you what he texted here. me. If you want to call his office and ask him, I'm not, it doesn't matter. The money was there. How it was utilized is another story. So you're saying that there's a $125,000 grant just hanging out there waiting to be used. If you're telling me you've got a different 125, then I would say yes. Okay. But when I asked him specifically, was that 125 the money that was allocated for the steps and the ramps, he said yes. Just give him a call. That's all. Mm -hmm. I'm, what I'm saying is that there could be another 125 out there. Right. So let's well, go that's after. how I understand it. Right. That's I hope so. I that, that would be great yeah. if there was another 125 out there. Yeah. I, I just don't see how a project could be started. Like, if we were to remodel the bathrooms here um, in this building, they would have to comply with the ADA. And I it doesn't you. matter if we didn't have the money to do that, then you don't I do the bathrooms. I hear you. So if you weren't able to, not you, but if the bridge wasn't able to comply with the ADA, okay, which is a federal law, mm -hmm. if it wasn't able to comply, it never should have been accepted, number one. Number two, no one should be using that bridge. Well, it meant, it must have met some type of grant criteria, or otherwise the grant money would it might not have been realistic. The grant criteria, so, but they don't come But they approved the plans. You. They saw the plans. Right. They all got approved based upon it. Right. Did the plans so New York State knew that. Did the plans have the ramps on them? Because they saw I don't plans. Remember. I don't think so. With but ramps on I don't know. And I don't really think I don't know. it was approved by the, the state after it was They gave installed. us the money. It had to be approved by the state. They gave you money. They don't come down to see if uh, 
You're not going to give you money just on a, a phone call, or you got to have to do an application. You got to do drawings. I get that. So I get that. So, so that had to be in place, right. or otherwise you wouldn't have been so given the money. So they improved the bridge with that ramp. Just I mean, like the 13 and a half you got for the sewer plant. They had to see the plans. They had to understand Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So and the, the, the same original plan. bridge company is now out of business. Okay, so because they did so talk fun. to the new bridge company. Okay. And they don't want any liabilities from the old bridge. Nobody would. <laughs> Why would they? I don't know. You didn't well, build you, it. Would I take that liability from you, not knowing well, what you did? No. So would anybody is going do that? to be out one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars to build a ramp? What I'm saying is, you could ask the town board of sure. Bowling Grove to come up with half that money. Now we only have to come up with. If you got the money, or. Or there yet? But I don't think it from should an be on from municipal shoulders. type thing. I mean, because the village owns the bridge and owns the bridge. But if you guys want to do an intermunicipal grant finding thing, I'll we'll, I'll talk to the supervisor and we'll we'll see what we can do yeah. to pursue. I you know I That's don't all. think you could just Simple. keep falling on village residents. Who's to falling? Fix you had free money. You had free money, Joe. The money was there. The board decided not to sacrifice six parking spaces. We have to. We have That's to. That's all. We have That's to talk to Scopus about yeah. this other money. That's all it was. Yeah. That's all. The money was there. You could have done it. Dead horse. Thank you. Anyone else? Just out of six parking spaces, isn't the lot out of compliance with the amount of needs already? Yes. So well, you're wrong. But then it would take a pro out of compliance. Six months. When you're the problem is if if the way the uses are working, it's because of what the uses are. When a building changed from A to B, the use variance wasn't changed. And when say, did they change? Recently or over the years? Over the years. When you had let's say residential building? No, no, no residential. No. I mean there was two buildings example. there, so that should have been still short. I'm sorry? Two buildings burned down, correct? And still short on spots? Yeah, but, well, you have your residence, and you'd have to, you know, get the zoning book out to figure out the square footage of the buildings and then what you allow for an apartment. Yeah, that's all been figured. You know. I mean, but, the ramps had to go on to private land, didn't they? You have to wind up on bank land? That's when they town, it out. town property on the other side. And, and they gave permission to put the ramps in. Okay. So Sean, could either side would have been. Kind of we're off topic here, I'm sorry, I'll make it short. You know a lot of the history. Who gave away the parking spaces for the laundromat that the village owns? I don't remember which mayor, but it was to get the access through there. Because it's village property, but they gave them away to the laundromat. Right. They did that to get the access off of 208. Maybe Brown. Maybe. And is there a legal agreement somewhere? That's a or right of way that should, should be filed, yeah. The Kovitz and Dubitz should have that. You're starting to see when that building was built. That was part of Alan was out there. Well, if you remember where the laundromat is, used to be a Saturno's red building, like a barn looking thing. So the guy bought it. This is interesting. Right. And then prior to the dance studio being built, that was owned by, I think, Luke Dolly and maybe someone else. So they all needed to have spaces if the village wanted to right away through. So that's, that's a rough guess. Because it's, it's got to be probably late 80s, early 90s. Good night, thank you. Thank you. Is that keeping you warm? Yeah. Thanks. No way, you too, huh? Uh -huh.